Well, hello there again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back. Time for some Flight Sim World. Hi. Welcome. Good to have you all aboard. Boom, boom. We're now loading. Now boarding. I, oh, boarding. Well, we're loading into uh, Flight Sim World right now, so that's what we're waiting for. So hello, everyone in chat. Good to see you all. If you're new around these parts, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Your name will pop up here, and I can give you a shout-out for joining the flight crew here. And, of course, if this is type of your, your type of content, then... Hit that subscribe button and you'll know whenever we go live. So hello everyone in chat. Hi there, uh, Gaming Creeper and Agent Blue, Dominic, LHM, Corinne. Nice to see you all here tonight. Scary and Kevin, John on a bike. Again, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button so I can say hi to you and welcome you aboard. That's the best way to get a big O shout out too. And of course, you can choose to sponsor us tonight by clicking that sponsor button or supporting us via Super Chat. If you do sponsor, that's a new thing on YouTube that... Uh, we and only a few other YouTubers have. I say a few uh, because I don't really know the main number. It's not everybody. Only a select group of uh, the closed beta of people doing that. So, again, if you want to go ahead and support the stream, hit that sponsor button. Your name will be highlighted in green. And, of course, the little Raptor logo will pop up here. Even if you sponsor after a live stream, uh, you can still sponsor and your name will pop up any time that we're streaming. So, welcome aboard, everybody. Uh, Men of War is not interesting anymore. Uh, well, we've pretty much done everything there is in there. I haven't seen any new mods or anything come out so we play whatever seems to be interesting at the time and a war came out a long time ago i think in 20 what 13 2014 so it's, she's getting old she's getting old but don't worry if there's new mods for call to arms or something else we'll play that but right now we're playing flight sim world we're talking all about planes here today and raptor got a new plane the nice folks over at dovetail games aka flight sim world have given me a um Piper, something or other, uh, I forget the exact name, but name's in the title. I forget all the numbers and letters. The, the Public Service Announcement 28, Arrowhead 15. I'm pretty sure that's the name. Now, nah, read the name. It's like the PA28 Arrow 3, so it's pretty cool. All right, the game's just loading in here, so let's switch on over. I know this is a country bumpkin music for a plane, I know, but it's about the most relaxed music we have. Yes, I can see you, and you can see me too. Hi, everyone. All right, let's switch over to Flight Sim World. There we go. Now, I have to play in this weird, like, uh, bordered window mode, so you'll just see the dinosaur scales above and below, but it's not too bad. It's all good. Now, um... Two new pieces of DLC for this game. The plane is one. Another one is some approach missions that have, like, for example, a bird strike. Apparently a bird will hit your windshield, and you'll have to land with a cracked windshield, which seems really cool. So we'll do that stuff a little bit in the future. But now, let's get used to a new plane. So we're going to go on a free flight, and we're just going to take off from any old airport in the world. So I'm going to just pick something at random here. Let's go... Uh, I don't know. Where do you guys want to fly to today? There's got to be a McDonald's or a Burger King around here somewhere. Ooh, there's some airports over here. Oh, should we fly up to Canada? Oh, wow. I didn't even know there was airfield. Oh, cool. Should we fly? Uh, I live in Minnesota, so let's fly uh, from Minnesota, which is up here, to like uh, somewhere in Duluth, uh, like up here. Uh, let's see. Delta Co. I think Duluth is, oh, that's Menominee, so that's closer to Wisconsin. Duluth is, oh, wait, right up here. Wow, I was in Wisconsin. I need to learn my geography there. All right, so that would be, uh, I think Duluth was right down there. So we're, yep, B Bong. There's literally one called Bong. Sky Harbor. There you go, Duluth International. Wow, I didn't know there was an international airport in Duluth. That's cool. I'm the best YouTuber. Well, you're very kind, Carla. Welcome aboard. All right, we're going to fly up here in Minnesota. We're going to fly from uh, Sky Harbor, which actually there's a lift bridge uh, where ships can come in from somewhere around here. And then they come into the Duluth Harbor. In fact, um, if you think about it, so here's where Minnesota is, right? You, you see the great state of Minnesota right here, and uh, there it loads in. It, you, it's hard to tell without the borders of each state, but if you think about it, so here's Lake Superior. Here's all the Great Lakes. This is the uh, most inland state that is connected to uh, a freshwater uh, access all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. So if you wanted to, you could take a canoe all the way from Duluth all the way to where Strombi lives over in uh, just outside of uh, Stockholm, or Stockholm, well, pretty soon Stockholm, but uh, over here in uh, Gothenburg, which uh, there's Landvetter. So when he came to visit me, he flew from Landvetter down to uh, Schiphol uh, around here. No, that's not it. Where is Schiphol? Oh, it should be over here. There we are. All the way over to the U.S. Minneapolis International. Okay, well, without any further ado on the uh, the whole, the, all the millions of airports in the world, let's get flying. So let's go on a little tour of Duluth with our new plane. And we're going to zoom all the way down to the harbor. And I think we can take off from here, Sky Harbor. And I'll show you guys around Duluth a little bit. And we'll land wherever we want to. I guess we'll make a little bit of a, we'll make a little bit of a flight plan here. Let's see if we can do a full circle around. There we go. It'll be a pretty tight circle, but we'll see how it goes. 
Okay, so again, if you guys want to support this stream, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so I can give you a big old shout out. And if you haven't already, you guys can go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know you want me to play more simulators. If you're more of a fan of farming sim or something else, just hit that like button. I'll know that you want to see much more. And by the way, of course, if you guys support us via Super Chat or sponsorship, your name pops up as well, and you help to support the channel. Everybody's going to be able to get sponsorships very soon on YouTube. So if you haven't already, go ahead and do that because everybody's going to get sponsorships soon. you got to be one of the first. It's going to be awesome. Let's fl uh, plan the rest of our flight. So there's our there's our flight plan. Let's go back uh, to uh, aircraft selection. We're got, we want our new fancy pants plane, which is the uh, PA-28R Aero 3. So let's take a look at this thing. Oh. Publisher what? There's a security warning that popped up. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see. Would you like to designate as a trusted software? Oh, wow. I'm seeing menus that you guys can't even see. What's going on? This is weird. Oh, okay. It, it gave me like a bunch of warnings about loading the plane. Anyway, let's take a look at more of the stats here. So the cruise is 138 knots, range is uh, 695 nautical miles, uh, fuel capacity is 72 gallons of fuel, plus uh, one crew and three passengers, so it's a four-person plane. And there's a variable pitch three-bladed propeller on there. And I think that's all we can look at for details. Ceiling is uh, 16,000 feet. Oh, that's really low. Oh, wow, five... <laughs> Oh wait, that's takeoff distance I was looking at. 25,000, 16,000, 19,000. Look at this one. Takeoff distance for this tiny little cub is 500 feet. This one needs 1,600, so let's see how she does. And we're going to go ahead and take off on a mm, not snowy day, maybe a sunny day. Let's go on a sunny day so you guys can see everything. All right, let's get to it. Well, welcome aboard, everybody. Nice to have you all here. Oh, why is there a spanner next to Twin Cam's name? That's a good question. So Twin Cam is a moderator of this stream. You guys can say hi to Twin Cam. And uh, he's just here to make sure that if I shout out about something, he can drop a link for it. Or if somebody gets all mean and chat, he can just be like, get out of here, you. We don't need you here. That kind of thing. But he's here to just hang out as much as you guys are. He's a big fan, I think, of airplanes and simulators as well. So Twin Cam, thanks for tuning in yet again and again and again. Welcome, Taylor Fuchs, yet a new sponsor of Rat Pack Airlines. Proud sponsorship here. Taylor, thank you very much for being a sponsor. You're fantastic. So now Taylor's name will have the Raptor logo next to it. And, of course, it'll be highlighted in green. So here come, don't get scared. Here comes the dinosaurs. Watch out. You're the 100th sub? Wow. All right. Oh, you're Twins 100th sub. Okay. I was going to say, oh, I don't know if I believe that. Hi there, Def. There's an example of one of our sponsors there in chat. So hello to Def Old Git. Thank you for being a sponsor. And let's take off today. Def, you're with me today. Let's hop in our Piper 3, our Piper Aero 3. This is a very cool looking plane, by the way. I think you can actually, um, the, the engine's on, but let's go ahead and see if we can shut her down. I'm shutting it down. Let's go ahead and like shut the engine down. I think there's a way to open all the doors and everything. Let's take a look at the outside of the plane and see if we can actually... Wait, how do you get to options again? Uh, how do you get to... Oh, yeah. Is it up here? Settings? Yeah, that's right. So settings, controls, and I just want to take a good detailed look at this. Uh, there we go. There's our new sponsor, Taylor Fuchs. Welcome aboard. Buttons and keys for all events. And let's go ahead and shut... How do you shut... I'm shutting her down. Engine. Let's search engine. E-N... Gianni. All right, there we go. Auto shut down, auto start, control E. Uh, let's just do control Q, maybe. Uh, let's see. Do action on release, repeat. The key button is available. Click OK to accept the assignment. Q E, uh, control Q. View pan down. Oh, I, don't, I don't think I'll need that. Okay. So we're good there. So I just want to shut the engine down and then let's open things. Let's see if we can open the doors and everything. Uh, maybe it's a toggle option. There we go. Oh, oh wow, you can open fuel valves. Do open doors is shift plus E. Okay, so let's see how that works. Okay, so we're going to shut the plane down. No, I don't want to quit the flight. I want to go back to the... There we go. There we go. All right, let's shut it. We're shutting it down. I'm shutting it down, guys. So control Q should shut our engine down. Oh, my God, that came to, like, an immediate stop. Wow, that was, like, two seconds. Okay, we're going to open up all the doors and take a look at the plane. So let's take a look at what everything looks like on the outside. Oh, there we go. I think uh, Shift plus E should open all doors. Or is that not true? I guess it just opens the passenger door. Awfully loud, though. Okay, so uh, there should be a button to open every single door, but I'm assuming the uh, back passenger door should open as well for all the other passengers. Oh, wow, there's actually air traffic here today. We're probably totally, like, breaking the rules. Like, <laughs> we have takeoff clearance, and we're just out here having a sandwich. 
but cool. There's a guy detailed in there. That's a very... That, I, I feel like I see this plane a lot. I might be wrong about that, but it's it's got some pretty good detail. And the interior is very, very nice as well. Very detailed interior. You can see all the leather and everything. There, this, the 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 um, the bottom is real dirty and, and everything. Very nice. They don't use a flight stick. They use a yoke and everything. Good. Good stuff. All right. Let's go on our flight now that we've taken a look at the good detail. All right. Locked and secured. Very nice. You can tell they record. They must have found one of these planes, asked somebody to rent it for an hour, and then, you know, made all the sounds and pushed all the buttons in order to get her uh, sounding beautifully. All right. Well, speaking of sounding beautifully, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get... Uh, yeah, let's take... Let's hear that again. Oh, is it not going to lock the door? Lock the door. That could come swinging open. It's got to be down. And... No, come on now. Close door. Uh-oh. It's opening all the doors. Oh, cool. It opened... Oh, I, never mind. My door is still open. Okay, door is locked. Good. All right, now what's the button to start the engine? I believe it's shift... No. Control E. There we go. All right, the engine's up again. Okay. So now we're going to uh, take our flight. Looks like that guy might be taxiing around here. Looks like we don't have a... Uh, we'll have to look on our flight planner to see what our actual flight plan is. Oh, yeah. You know this? Watch this. Oh. Look at that. We can we can put our visors down. That's really cool. I like that. All right. Perfect. All right. We should be good to go for takeoff now. So we'll go ahead and uh, drop our... If we want our visor up or down, I think we, we should probably put it up, huh? We'll flip it all the way back up. There we go. Okay. Ready? And let's take off. All right, and I think the parking brake is... There we go. Oh, it's the same as it is in flight sim. Good. Usually they don't put the flight, the uh, parking brake on. Oh, boy. All right, so we're going to fly around Duluth a little bit here in our new Piper 3. She sure looks nice. Oh, yeah. Maybe some flaps would help. There we go. Yay. Wow, that's a short runway. All right. So again, if you guys want a shout out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you guys want a shout out, go ahead and support us via Super Chat. If you want a shout out, go ahead and support us via sponsorship. Three ways, folks, for you to get it. Not spamming. Say my name in chat. That'll get you ignored. All right. Everything's looking real good here. Now, where are we going? I think we're just going to fly around at random. I don't really intend to follow our flight pl uh, plan if we're basically just on a sightseeing tour. Oh, there's a little sailboat down there. Oh, that is awesome. Very cool. Oh, I see a few sailboats. Very nice. Didn't I pick sunny day? It seems just a little cloudy. Alright, and if you subscribe, your name should pop up here and uh, you'll get a big O shout out for doing so. Alright, let's watch what we're doing here. So we're going to fly around. This is, of course, Lake Superior. Oh yeah, that's very, 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 very realistic over there. Over off the uh, left wing, there's a lot of uh, towers up there. They're all radio towers, and uh, they're all along the coast. There's a, l a, a giant hill. It's like being on a mountain when you're up in Duluth, so it's really cool. Hi there, GameStar. Hope you're doing good. Let's see if we can see the iconic lift bridge. I think I see a small bridge, but it's not the, it's not the big lift bridge that they have in the game. All right, let's roll around here to the left. You hope I play Arma? Maybe sometime in the future. There's another boat down there. Sharkhead, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Oh, we're going down, baby. Whoa, careful. All right. So this is definitely a little little leggy. Oh, that's right. We have a... Uh, I forgot we had landing gear on this plane that we have to put up. That, that, might, that might explain a little bit of that. Note to self, this plane has uh, landing gear. Something to be mindful of. All right, let's see. So where are we going to? Oh, I'm going to be getting a new computer soon, too, by the way. So I'm going to be able to run all games at maximum settings and everything. I'm very excited. I think I'll do a live stream of it. It's going to be really cool. All right, that should be the airport I think we took off from down there. Yep, that's the airport we took off from. I didn't even know there were air airfields around here. I suppose they're probably for, like, helicopters and airplanes to, uh... I guess there's leisurely flights and stuff, but also, um... 
probably maybe for rescues or search and rescue, that kind of thing, if there's any need for it. There's always a big problem on the uh, the lake of, you know, possible uh, ships going down and such. Carla, thanks for subscribing. Welcome aboard. All right. Wow. Mm-hmm. When am I going to do some more JCB pioneering? Probably never. Um, views just aren't up on high on that, and usually when we showcase games, we're just doing a couple episodes. That's the way it's got to be played now. Uh, the only thing that really seems to get big, big views is Farming Sim, but yeah, YouTube does this thing where it's like, you know, our channel exploded for a long time, then it shrinks, the analytics, or uh, rather the algorithm changes, so it's all about everybody just tries to play something new. So if I'm not playing something, it's probably just not as popular. All right, let's see here. And, of course, if you guys are looking for a shout-out, there's great options down below in the FAQ. Three great options to get a shout-out, folks. Those of you who are longtime viewers should know what that is. So right down here, there should be a giant lift bridge. Uh, it should be, in, like, from the 20s or something like that. It's very beautiful. And uh, should be right below us. Oh, that's, this game's a little laggy on my PC, but it might also be the new DLC uh, plane. But, again, this is the Piper 3. Oh, man. Now this makes me excited for a whole new PC. I'm getting excited. This is good. All right, so off to our right is a bunch of towers, and uh, basically it's a huge hill and industrial complex around here, so there's, uh, even though there's a few off the uh, left side there, there should be nothing but industrial buildings all along this entire coast. So it's really beautiful. Hi there, Raider. Doing good. Uh, let's see, I had to go to gaming YouTube to find the spun. Oh, I see. All right, if you guys want to click the sponsor button, go to YouTube Gaming and you can do that. Matt, thank you for subscribing. So if anybody else wants to be in the plane today, uh, go ahead and sponsor us right now. And you guys uh, will get your name popped up here. You'll get your name highlighted in green. Makes it a lot easier, too, for me to read certain comments if your name's highlighted because uh, otherwise it can be a little troublesome. All right, down there is a road known as uh, 35, I think 35E. That goes all the way down to Minneapolis and St. Paul, so you can... Basically, you can get on a boat and go from uh, Germany to Duluth, and then you can get in a car and go all the way from Duluth to Minneapolis if you wanted. Very, very interesting. A lot of radio towers up here. There's a very iconic mansion and such up here. A lot of cool stuff. Beautiful to fly around. Too bad I'm not going to get any credit for this plane without, uh, without a few different things. So, All right, Bob, take care. All right, wow, a lot of towers up here. I didn't realize there were so many. I think these are all cell phone towers and radio towers for all the ship's communications and such. And we're probably <laughs> way too close to them, but I wanted to give you guys a close-up on a few things. All right. That's beautiful, though, flying around up here. There's a lot of great detail to this area. Flying awfully slow and low. Absolutely, I like pizza. Who doesn't like pizza? We'll have to find a pizza place we can land at. Right up here, I see there's something up right in front of us that looks like a big black square on a hill or something like that. That can't be another plane. What could that be? Let's head straight ahead and see what's up ahead of us. There's, some, there's something up there, folks, and I'm going to go take a look and see what it is. We're going to go see what that is up there. I wonder how long it would take to fly down the Great Lakes. Be a lot of long time flying for sure. So this DLC is available for uh, ooh, I can't actually remember the exact price. I think it's uh, somewhere between twenty and thirty dollars. So if you like uh, detailed planes, if you have this type of plane, or if you're a big fan of it, I would definitely recommend picking this one up. Good detail and everything, and that's of course what matters the most on a flight simulator, just as much as like a ATS game or something like that. There's just tons of uh, detail. And all the interior parts seem to work as well, so all the gauges seem to be giving you useful flight information that you can actually put to use. Oh, there's the International Airport there. That's the uh, Duluth International. You want pizza and fries? Oh, wow, okay. We might go up to Canada. Maybe we'll have some uh, poutine up there, that kind of thing. All right, let's see here. Man, we probably won't crash. It's pretty easy to just keep her level. I'm, I'm just more curious to kind of look around what it's like up here. There's a plane landing at the International. 
or taking off, one of the two. Whatever was on the nose seems to be gone now. Let's get out of this cloud. I don't know what this is down here. Let's take a look outside the plane. Pretty good looking plane, man. There we go. Oh. I think I turned the graphics up a bit on the PC. One thing I gotta do is get a... I think I had a capture card before. I'm gonna have to look for that this weekend and see if I can uh, get my... Uh, get my uh, frames up a little bit, but don't you worry. We'll be building a new PC soon. I'll be building it live, so that's gonna be cool. So for those of you, by the way, who uh, supported via Super Chat or your sponsorships, that will go towards your entertainment. Obviously, I'm going to be building a new PC, so that'll make things a lot better for everyone. It'll make my video rendering faster. It'll make games download and run faster. So once the new PC comes, for those of you who supported us, uh, it's all because of you that more people are going to get entertainment. I mean, I know the computer goes to me, but I'm going to make some pretty cool videos out of it for you guys. And I love this plane. I want to fly some more planes, too. i got to get some other flight games. Uh, like, for example, uh, you know, this is more general aviation, and I like this because you get to stay down and low and go sightseeing. But also, if you want to do jet flying, X-Plane is very good as well. But I would say um, I've always loved flying the jets, but I never enjoyed... Uh, you know, once you take off in a jet and you're already kind of on your way, it's it's over once you lose sight of the Earth. But uh, flying it like, uh, you know, between 1 and 5, we're like, what, 200 feet right now or something? Very, very low altitude. You can see a lot here. Oh, we're almost at 3,000 feet. Okay. It seems a lot lower than that. All yeah, right. Yeah, too bad we can't land down there in the lake, huh? A lot of lakes up here. And that's why a lot of Scandinavians move to uh, Minnesota and the Midwest, too, is that a lot of the landscape is very similar to the archipelagos. Oh, hi, Daniel. Speaking of Scandinavians, what's up, Turtle? Good to see you in chat there, Daniel. Everyone say hi to Daniel. Start spamming some turtles in chats. Where's your turtle emotes? Now, tomorrow, or perhaps Sunday, Daniel's going to be doing a cooking stream. He's going to release... I shouldn't say stream. He's going to be releasing one of his cooking videos, so... Daniel got, uh, like, 60-something likes of uh, a truck being stuck in the mud. Wasn't even Daniel, but Daniel got the credit for it. Yeah, whenever anything goes wrong, you just blame Daniel. That's how it is. Hope you're doing good there, Turtle. I saw you were playing uh, R Rising Storm, by the way. Come come play with us sometime, man. We uh, have a pretty good squad, and you'd be an awesome teammate on it as well. I know you all want me to crash the plane, but that's not kind of the... Not, not really part of the game. If I crash, basically what happens is I just bounce off the earth and go right back up into the air. Noth nothing magical happens. It's just like, you have crashed. It's not like GTA where there's going to be a cool explosion. Ooh, we could fly some planes in GTA. Alright, so there's the international airport down there. We could set her down, but I'm going to keep on flying around a little bit more. And in order to find out if I play those games that you've asked about four times, Matt, instead of repeatedly asking the question, just do a little research on the channel. Check out and see if we are currently playing Company of Heroes or Company of Heroes 2. You can find that out just by searching on the channel. Find out what the latest and greatest is. Yes, Daniel's in chat. I know. I'm having trouble like keeping the nose of this plane down. It must be because we're well, we're not even going full throttle either. All right. Well, that's pretty nice up here. Should we go see where Daniel lives? Daniel, what is the name of the city that you live in in Sweden? Should we go, should we go fly around Daniel? Let's go see if we can find Daniel and see how similar Scandinavia, well, Minnesota and Scandinavia are. Let's go ahead and. I'm going to actually land over here at this airfield, and then we're going to go find... Uh, oh, Helsingborg. Okay. So Daniel lives in Helsingborg. All right, we're going to go ahead and land over here. Get our landing gear out. We're just going to see if we can quickly touch down. This is going to be like an emergency landing. We found Daniel was on board the plane, so we got to get out of here. Somebody was... Somebody, uh, somebody smuggled the turtle aboard. Oh, yeah. All right, now we're going to fly like Daniel. How do I do this, dude? Fat. Alright, let's see if we can land this. Turtle smuggling, I know. Why is it laggy, Montessori asks. I think the plane is uh, very highly detailed, so it's actually uh, slowing it down a bit. But it is, 
It is a little laggy, I, I will admit, but that's not the end of the world. It won't be once we get that new big O PC. It's going to be great. But yeah, there's a lot that goes on in these games. You definitely want to get yourself a good PC if you're going to be playing any sort of simulator. I will say, though, that probably the most optimized simulator I have ever played is probably American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator. Those two just seem to be do, doing a, a good old, good old thing. All right, we should be good to land here. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, the frames are real low on this one for whatever reason. The game did an update, too, so it may have reset some of my settings, so... Jesus. All right, well, at least we didn't die. All right, we, we'll come to a stop, and then we'll go set reset some of the settings. Yeah, we're getting like 30 frames or so. Okay. And there we are, back in the ground, safe and sound. All right, let's go back to... Uh, let's adjust some of the settings here. Display... Oh yeah, did yeah. Let's put them on like low. Just, she's struggling too much for whatever reason. Okay, and then we'll go back. There we go. All right, we're gonna go check out uh, Helsingborg a little bit. Maybe we can find uh, the Grand Turtle around there. Yes, I know. I'm very excited. This music's good. Of course, this is uh, definitely like flying a plane, isn't it? Hi to Chris Pinto in chat too. Big big old flight. Uh, I guess you, you'd be a flight enthusiast? A flight fan. That's what maybe that's what we'll call you. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, do a new flight plan. I think we have to do we leave? Let's let's just quit this flight. Oh failed. Oh yeah, I didn't even know I was going there. Taco and Fatboy, thanks for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Welcome to our new sponsors tonight too. Thank you everyone for your super chats and everything. We're gonna fly now over to Sweden. Uh, how do I... Oh, yeah, aircraft selection will be our new Aero 3. And let's find ourselves Helsingborg. Oh. Okay, let's see. What part of Sweden... Okay, let's see. What part of Sweden are we in? Hmm. Wow, a lot of these sound Italian. We must be in Denmark or something. Let's go up here to let's go up here to the Great Britons. There we go. All right, let's see. Where's London Heathrow? Oh, a lot of these look Swedish. Hmm. <laughs> Southern part left of Malmo. All right, Malmo's down here. What 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 airfield should we pick then, Daniel? This is where uh, this is where Malmo is, right down here. So which airfield? Hoganus? You're gonna have to pick one. Pirate Games, thank you for subscribing. We've got ourselves Landskrona next to Denmark. Yeah, I see it. But, like, where? Oh, actually, the Orison Bridge is down here. But which which airport do you want? Do you want the Malmo Airport? Eslof? M Maskelgarp? I think that was... By the way, that that right there was my favorite Pokemon. Maskelgarp was the best. Huebde? Why is it... What? Huebde is not down there. Wait, that's not Huebde. Wait a minute. Oh, there's Young Shopping. Here's Fadudberg. Oh, there's Puebde up there. Oh, they look the same. Uh, let's see. Lands Krona, he says. Okay, let's do Lands Krona then. Okay, so we'll fly. We're going to go on a bombing run to Copenhagen, then we'll fly back. What do you think, Daniel? You down with that? Actually, I think that's the international airport right there for Copenhagen. So, uh, let's see. I think the castle uh, downtown is around there somewhere. So, we'll go on a bombing run for Daniel. We'll swing right by the castle. Perfect. And then we'll swing by... Um, we'll swing by uh, Ika on the way back just so he can pick up some milk for his mom. He's a, Daniel's a good kid, so he, he definitely is running some errands. All right, perfect. That should be good to go. So, let's go back to... Uh, Back to our uh, weather conditions then. Let's make sure it's... Can I, like... Oh, there's advanced options for this. Yeah, do the advanced. What is that? Wait, how do you do the advanced stuff? Oh, here we go. Visibility. Oh, perfect. Oh, there's no wind direction or anything. Oh, cool. You can just turn it all off. Okay, I think we're good to go. Just kidding. I like Denmark. Denmark and uh, Sweden are very, very beautiful. Never been to Norway yet, though. It's on the list. Finland would be cool, too.
All right, waiting for it to load. Do, do, do. I like this plane a lot. This game is good too, Flight Sim World. Good solid game. Mike, thank you for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Never go to Norway? What? I want to go to Norway. You can't stop me, Daniel. You're too slow. You're a turtle. There's nothing you can do to stop me. I'm strong and independent. Okay. Oh, apparently the door's closing. Okay, Daniel's got the bombs on board. Well, let's take a look at our map quickly. Uh, let's see. Flight planner. Okay, so what do we got to do? Where are we starting from? Oh, okay, so we got to take a uh, right-hand turn across the... Uh, across the waterway... All right, we'll take... Again, we don't have to take this route. We'll just fly around and do whatever we want. So, let's fly. Ready? Here we go. Uh... Oh, why does the plane pull to the left like that? Is there a... Maybe there's a problem with the joystick or something. All right, we should have enough speed to take off here in a second. I think, I think we're already, uh oh, Jesus, does that have to be so loud? I think the Danes had a missile lock on us. They already know we're coming. <laughs> Did that have to be so loud, though? Jesus. Come on, we don't need the damn landing gear up anymore. All right, we gotta, we gotta throw Daniel out. All right, come on, we don't need the loud, piercing sound, dude. Hold on. Sorry about that. Let's turn that down. It's freaking out about the landing gear, but it's not like we're going to be landing again. <laughs> it's still loud. All right, we'll put the landing gear back down. We don't need it, though. Oh, come on, girl. <laughs> Matt. I don't, I don't know why you're here on this uh, flight sim game talking about Company of Heroes, dude. This is not a Company of Heroes stream. Alright. I don't know why that thing's freaking out. It's definitely not low speed. Let's take... I got an idea. Let's do this. Let me reset one of these options here. Alright, let's try this. This should, this should help. Okay, that should be good. All right, we're good. Okay, let's uh, swing over to Denmark. I think it's because now, now we should have our yep, landing gears up too. All right, perfect, we're good. Apparently this is the Company Heroes Awareness stream, I guess. I don't know. Yay, it certainly looks like Sweden. Now, where's Daniel? Daniel already said, like, Daniel's like, okay, bye. Damn it, Daniel, we just started playing in your, your country. Oh, yeah, Sweden definitely looks like, uh... Sweden always looks like an anime to me. Always like the coast of some anime movie or something, I don't know. Very nice. So the plane is absolutely gorgeous. I like it a lot. Again, the Piper uh, Aero 3... Really nice design. Yeah, another thing too with Pinto is that the uh, YouTube algorithm is just ever changing. You know, like uh, every one, every time we would stream, we'd get like 250. Now there's only 50, but the number doesn't really matter as much as the game. But uh, you know, school started and the algorithm changes. I mean, there's a million factors. You know, you could say. The channel is dead. It's all dream is dead. Or it's just, you know, the algorithm changes all the time. People want to see different stuff, and this is definitely something worth seeing. This is definitely good. You love flying sims? Me too. Alright, let's fly over to Denmark and go see Mr. Disco. I'm going to do a bombing run across the ocean.
That's really cool. Alright, so we should be able to... Actually, let's see one of the longest bridges in Europe, if we can. I think it's down this way. Let's take a look at our flight map again. I think that is it. Yeah, because it connects to the... So the Swedes and the Danes built a river... Uh, uh, sorry, a bridge. I think that there's a tunnel this way, or a smaller bridge, and then there's a large bridge that connects Sweden and Denmark. Oh, actually, you can see it right here. Uh, it actually goes onto this small island down there. So uh, there's, it's like a two-part bridge that's just absolutely huge. So let's go down there and see if that's down there. That would be really cool. You're about to join the convoy? Awesome. If you hit the subscribe button, your name will pop up here. I'll give you a big O shout out. Welcome to our new sponsor, uh, Taylor Fuchs. If you guys want to support us via Super Chat or via sponsorship, you can do that on YouTube Gaming as well. And of course, anytime you guys support us, your name will pop up here. Get a big O shout out today. Big O. Right back at you, Josh, and enjoy your time out from moderators. Gage, thanks for subscribing. Nice work, Pinto. That was a quick bombing run on that one. Really nice folks over at Dovetail Games, by the way. I like this game. This is this is exactly what I need. Pinto's more into the big... He's got appreciation for general aviation like this, but Pinto's more into the big, big O scale flying, which is totally cool. But this small scale stuff is like flying around in Google Maps. What's the highest you can fly up to? Uh, I think 16,000 feet. Mad heyday, thanks for subscribing. Or at least in this uh, in this plane is 16, 1,600, or 16,500. So I've been across this bridge how many times in my life between Sweden and Denmark? Uh, let's see, one time in 2014, two times in 2016. Very cool. It's a, it's a big, big O bridge. That's a big O bridge over there. They got big O. So it should be... Actually, I don't know if they put it in the game. Oh, yeah, I can see it. It's a very thin line. We'll get close to seeing it soon. Yeah, I'm enjoying the flight there, Mac here. Thanks for tuning in. Hi there. Hello, everyone in chat. Hello, Matt. Hello, Mac here. What's up, Chris and Twin Cam and Farming and Timmy C. Hello to uh, also G. Martin and One Gamer One Game. Good to see you. Hi there. Hello there, G. Martin. Can you do can you do a big old barrel roll? Uh, I don't know if we should try. We're kind of low to the ground. Give it a try. Well, I don't know. This isn't really a stunt plane. Uh, maybe maybe we can give her a shot. Should we give her a shot? Let's try. Let's go for a big old barrel roll. All right, hold on. Let me get the speed up a little bit. Hi there, F Cadet. All right, let's try a barrel roll then. Do a barrel roll. All right, let's see. Oh, this ain't gonna work. Nope. <laughs> she doesn't want to do that. That's not the type of plane you do a barrel roll in. She's she's giving up right there on the side. Not happening. How do you install the mod for the convoy? Uh, you'll have to just Google. Uh, multiplayer for American Truck Simulator. Hi there, Sharkhead. Good to see you still with us. And uh, up ahead should be the bridge, so we're going to fly down the length of this bridge here. Big O. Part of our Big O stream continuing. here all the way from Australia. That's awesome. We'll fly down there and pick you up in a minute. Just stand by. Alright, we're flying at maximum speed right now, which in this plane is about well, at least uh, it seems to be maximum at about uh, one what is that, like maybe 130 140, 130, something like that. So ahead should be the bridge. We'll follow the length of it all the way to Denmark. Over off the right wing, you should be able to see the uh, airport for Copenhagen then. So I landed there in 2016, and then we took all the way across the bridge into Sweden. That was good times, man. That was good. All good stuff. You're a flight sim player, too? Well, welcome, Slinky. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of more of a super casual guy, but I could totally see myself getting into it. It's uh, definitely pretty sweet. Flight sims are really fun. All right. So we should be close to the bridge soon. beautiful coast of Sweden. I like the Swedes uh, in terms of uh, their responsibility to the environment, like they recycle everything and they try to keep everything clean. That's just what everybody should do, no matter what. Can I do a flight over the UK? Yeah, that'd take a while, though. 
you love the channel it's the best well thanks for being a subscriber then appreciate that you guys are very kind always with the nice compliments in our chat very nice yeah we could do the UK I don't know if I've even flown over the UK well technically I think I flew around Scotland once in one of the missions so I have but uh, not not just a not like a like a free flight just a mission which was really cool the mission was sweet there were like two storms coming in and I had to get to the ground it was awesome Thanks, Reese. Appreciate that. Hi there, Nito Nito. Hello, everyone. Welcome. All right, we're about to see ourselves a big old bridge here. And again, I oh they oh have they oh I think they modeled it in. It's not just a generic bridge. I think this is one where they actually took their time to design it. Uh, the bridge goes then into a tunnel that goes under the other side. So there's a tunnel on the Danish side and a bridge on the Swedish side. And I think they both paid for it together. And then there's like they all they put in for the bridge. But yeah, Sweden's a pretty place, man. Same with Denmark, too. Lots of pretty girlies over there, too, boys. Watch it. Watch it. Okay, so up here is uh, a landmark of Malmo. It's called Turning Torso. And uh, it's the little building right off to our right side. You'll barely be able to make it out, but we're going we're gonna to swing down close. And what it is, is it's a, it's a building that just, as the name would imply, turns torso a little bit. Boy, this plane is really sensitive about speed. UK is the size of Taco Bell's parking lot. Well, it would it, it would take some time. The UK is not small. That's why they use trains instead of like cars, or at least uh, trains are at. You know, nations like the UK and Japan. Once the train was invented, they were they were set. Trains in Japan can go like the speed of a plane or faster. And the UK's got some pretty sp speedy trains as well. But uh, people do all sorts of commuting. All via trains. Man, sometimes I bet in Japan and the UK, people probably go like an entire year without even getting in a car. I mean, you can if you live in certain spots, especially if you're in a big city. Okay, so off the nose right about now is Turning Torso. And it is a uh, building in Malmo that is, uh, it's like a large white sort of like a condo, I think. Like there's houses or something in there. So we're about to see this. Then we're going to fly down the bridge and over to Denmark. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, plane. Cooperate a little bit. Oh, come on now. This plane is very sensitive. That beeper is scary, too. It scared the heck out of me. I'm just trying to bring the speed down, but it wants me to bring the nose down instead. Yeah, it's very sensitive. Okay. So, we're going to fly by the building, and we're going to go down the bridge. I guess this is as idle as we can get with it. Hello everyone, welcome. This is the Swedish city of Malmo on the coast of Sweden. Uh, the southern, southwestern coast. And this connects to Denmark via the Orison Bridge, which you see off the uh, right side there. But we're going to go see this big building here first, see if we can fly by it. I believe this is where Daniel's locked up in a prison. Let's see here. Wait, this plane definitely doesn't want me to go down. Let's see if I can put the flaps down and slow us down. There we go. That's better. Okay, so instead of re reducing engine speed, you just use the flaps, I guess. Okay, so this should be turning torso over here off to our left. And you'll have to look it up in order to really get the idea of the building. But basically what it is is that it, it just spins as it goes up. It's a cool looking building, but there's nothing really special about it. So there it is right there. Pretty cool, but I bet the elevators are all in the middle on that one. Alright, let's pick her up out of here and let's go see the bridge now. And we'll fly down the length of the bridge to, uh, we're going to Denmark. So for those of you who love Legos, we're going to the Lego capital, which is Copenhagen. Man, Legos are absolutely gorgeous. Love them too. 
What is the coolest thing anybody's built out of Legos, by the way? What, what, what's the coolest thing you guys have built? I've, I've built uh, a police station. I think that was the coolest uh, place that I ever had in Legos was a big police station. That was awesome. Also had some cousins who had like the, uh, I think there was like a semi-truck that if you flip it open, it also had the, um, the uh, like a giant, I think it was like a helicopter in it, like a fire department that had a semi that would haul the helicopter. It was really cool stuff. Uh, what am I using to play with the joystick? This is a Thrustmaster from PlayStation. Uh, the folks at War Thunder sent it over to me. It's supposed to be used on PS4 and also uh, on PC as well. So, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, this is a very casual-like stream for me, and it's really nice. The, so the coolest thing you built was a deformed dolphin. What? You built, like, an animal? I've never built an animal. Although, I will say the coolest uh, thing was the sharks. Look at this. They modeled a football field on a hill. You see that? There's a, there's literally a football field or a soccer field going down a hill. Boy, that's got to be the uh, world's it's got to be the world's most unfairest playing surface right there. Okay, you guys go on this side. It's always downhill. Just play. All right, let's go down the bridge. So there's a border checkpoint between Sweden and Denmark, right about there by that building, just off the nose to our right, right there. And then. Uh, yeah, you have to you have to take border you have to go through the border security sometimes there. They're pretty cool though, especially if you have a, like a military escort or something. Yeah, this game's nice. I can interact with you guys. It's cool. You love the gold mining? Yep. There'll be a beta coming out of that game soon, so we'll do it again shortly. Okay, Orosund Bridge connecting Sweden and Denmark. There she is, folks. Beautiful bridge. And we definitely want to make sure we don't die. So let's go ahead and pay attention. There we go. Oh, yeah. I've been in both lanes of traffic. Yeah, it's cool. It's 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 funny because it's in a video game, so it doesn't feel real. But these places actually exist. It's weird. Like, once you step out of your home and you start going to other countries and, like, listening to other languages and other artwork and all that kind of thing, you can see... This bridge, I think, takes about 20 minutes to cross. Nah, it's probably exaggerated, but it feels like from the moment you get on the bridge to the moment you get off, it's like it's almost like 20 minutes has passed. It's a crazy bridge. I don't even know if it's been open for like 10 years. We're going to keep an eye on the bridge as we fly along. Pretty amazing. So then, on this island, there's a tunnel, and uh, it goes underneath the ocean for the rest of the way, and then it comes back out on the other side. If you've ever seen us play American, or rather, Euro Truck Simulator, you will see this bridge when it connects to uh, Sweden and Denmark, and uh, you do have to go underground for it. It's very cool. All right, we're going to try to go full speed now. This plane's really nice. Very fun flight here in this uh, new DLC plane. Again, there's new approach missions av available for Flight Sim World, and also there's uh, this, the uh, Piper. I believe it's the PA-28 Aero 3. Just look for Aero 3, and you can't miss it. So there you go. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to land over here, even though it's a non-planned landing. We're going to see if we can land over here at Denmark's airport. Let's see if we can... Uh, oh, that's not the view I want. There we go. We're going to see if we can land at this Danish uh, airport over here. Back in the plane, there we go. So then the uh, the tunnel comes out somewhere near the airport on the other side. I think over to our left, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But there's a road that goes directly by the airport. Alright, we're going to take our uh, landing here. And uh, see how we can do on our approach. I'm going to have to learn all the voice commands, too, for uh, wanting to request landing at certain airfields, that kind of thing. Now, this is an international airport, so I don't think it's probably not it's probably not a good idea to just come waltzing in, but uh, you do have to communicate a bit. But there's nobody to actually uh, communicate with. You guys want a like spike? Okay, 
Everybody who's liking this, if you like uh, the stream, if you like airplanes, if you think it's a cool game, if you want this DLC, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know you want to see more of these streams. It just takes a quick second. It doesn't. It doesn't really do anything other than let me know that hey, he does like what we're what we're watching, so he'll play more of it. So instead of saying when are you going to play this, when are you going to play that, just hit the like button, and whatever usually gets the most likes will get the most, uh, also the most amount of coverage. Unless it's super old and people just aren't uh, watching it as much, you know. Or if I can't can't play it, there's a lot of technical things too. All right, we're going to put the flaps down and come right in for a landing. All right. Thanks again to Taylor Fuchs for being a part of uh, our sponsorship team today. He's a new sponsor around these parts. So thank you very much for uh, being a new sponsor to our streams. If you guys want to sponsor us over on YouTube Gaming, click the sponsor button. Your name will pop up here and blow up in chat. I'll give you a big O shout out, of course. And uh, welcome to everyone for being a new subscriber and everything. You guys are fantastic, so thank you for your support. Greatly appreciate that, folks. Thank you, everyone, for uh, subscribing. Of course, your name pops up anytime you do any of that stuff. So thank you. There we go. Eh, not too bad of a landing. I guess we can just taxi over somewhere. We'll go right over to the uh, we'll go right over to the control tower. Eep. Doing a little drifting. Oh, it gives me a little credit for that. If you have any questions on Trucker MP, just go ahead and Google it. Google is your friend. All right. Well, I'm going to head over to the uh, airfield here or over, over to the control tower and have my lunch, I guess. It's actually dinner time, but I've already had that too. But uh, I'll be honest, I'm just hungry. All right, everyone. Well, that's it for tonight's stream on uh, this DLC. I know it was short, but it's uh, short and sweet as we uh, tested out the new uh, Arrow 3. So if you're interested in this DLC, it is available now. You can do everything from open all the doors and windows and everything else in between. It's loud when you open the door. I don't know why it's so loud, but definitely a cool aircraft. I'll be back for more Flight Simulator very soon. Flight Simulators in general. Uh, again, uh, Bud Dude, if you want to sponsor, just go over to YouTube Gaming uh, for Raptor. Just go over to YouTubeGaming.com and just uh, search for Raptor, and then you can sponsor there. You can click the Sponsor button. Your name will pop up or support via Super Chat or whatnot. But you guys will get it. Don't worry. So I will see you all very soon. We will do some uh, American Truck Simulator, some NASCAR tomorrow, maybe some ATS uh, on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. Hop on the TeamSpeak. You're all welcome to come on to the TeamSpeak. So some come, come on, come say hi to me and uh, come hang out. So I'll see you all later. I think uh, Daniel bailed. That's what it was. Daniel's on the run from the police, so that's why the door's open. He's, he's already running across the field somewhere to safety. He thinks he's in his home planet of Sweden, but he's not. All right, well, you all take care. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hitting the like button. We'll showcase more of these planes, more of the uh, DLC for approaches as well. So we'll do some missions next time, perhaps in this plane or any other planes that are available. So that is it for now, folks. Thank you very much for all your support. Thanks for watching the DLC. And thank you, everyone, for just all your kindness and all your compliments. So thanks for saying you love the videos. Thanks for your support. Def, thanks for being a sponsor. Everyone, thanks for your sponsorships. Thanks for your subs. And thanks for just watching. I know it's a Friday night. Get out there. Go do something fun. So I'll see you all next time. And take care. Bye. Bye-bye. <sighs> i got to find a Dairy Queen. Let's go to Dairy Queen. <laughs>